Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to download and update Realtek Audio HD drivers. Now, if you're having trouble with your Realtek drivers and you want to get it looking something like this, then this video is for you. So first up, what we're going to do is head over to the Realtek website and go to Menu and Downloads. From here, we'll be able to select the next option and go to Overview. This will take us to this page here. What we need to do here is go to Product Line and then use the drop down arrow. So once we get this, we can go to Computer Peripherals ICS. Click on this one here, and this will change to a bunch of selections available. So to reduce this down more, we go to the product line again, where it says choose a subcategory, and we're gonna use PC Audio Codex. Select on this one, and this will make a change here. And to just reduce this down a little bit more, we're going to go to the product line once more time and go to high definition audio codex. And this will give us our final uh, selection. Now, what we're going for here is the top version here, and we're going to go for software. So click on the software link here, and this will take us to the PC audio codex, high definition audio codex software. So now you can choose it whether it's for Linux or whether it's for Windows. You can choose which version you want here. I definitely want the 64-bit version, and this is available for Vista, Windows 7, and uh, Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10. I'm on a Windows 11 machine, but it should work. So we're going to go for Agree, the Terms and Conditions, and hit I Accept those terms above, and you have to put in your email address. Now, to get the file, you will need to do the capture here and just put the capture in and click go. And unfortunately for Realtek, it's pretty slow. Uh, the download speeds is gonna take many, many hours, but there is a workaround for this. I just wanted to show you this because this is the official way of downloading the Realtek drivers. Now, Realtek need to really pull their finger out and get much better download speeds. If you really wanna get the faster speeds, you can use uh, TechSpot. They have the Realtek HD audio codec driver here. It's the exact same one as the one I'm downloading from Realtek here. And what I'm going to do here is download it from here. The speed difference from here will be a lot better. I'm going to be choosing the Windows 64 bit only. I'm going to click on this one and it will download on my machine. So let's go ahead and click on this. You'll get the file ready for us and it will start to download on my system. Now you would have thought that the size of Realtek's company would offer much better download speeds for their drivers. You can see uh, this is already flying down here and the Realtek one is going to take many hours. So I'm going to cancel that one from uh, Realtek's website and download th this one here on a uh, text box. So let's go ahead and get that installed on the system. So let's go ahead and click on this now. And this will allow us to install this on our PC. Now, why am I showing this about Realtek? Realtek has been a real pain for a lot of people to get working properly. And I wanted to show a complete from start to finish on how you can update the driver correctly and get it installed on your system. So you can see here, we're going ahead and installing that on our PC. Now it's gonna probably need to do a reboot as well because it needs to uninstall uh, the current Realtek driver. That's the way you have to install audio drivers to get the best out of them. So it's gonna uninstall this and reinstall the new version for us. So let that go ahead and install on my system. And what we're gonna do here is do a quick reboot as it's suggesting here, and then it will continue with the installation process. So it's just going to continue here, installing the driver. Now it's removed the old one. And once this is done, we should be able to uh, check out our audio. So that installation is now been completed and we need to reboot our system one more time. So let's go ahead and restart the system. There we are back at the desktop. So what I'm going to do here is right click on the start button and go to device manager inside here. You should see your audio section here and you can check out your sound video and game controllers for your um, driver here for your high definition audio driver and your real tech drivers. You should see them all here. And uh, once you click on here, they're fully updated as you can see. Also, you might want to check the versions for these. You can also check the Windows Update section, see if there's any available updates via Windows Updates. Let's go down to the bottom here. Just want to quickly check on the properties here, and you should see it should be the latest driver here. There we go. And that is a 2021. 
And again, if we come down to the other Realtek audio here and go to properties here, you should see the details here for this driver is the latest driver as well for 2021. So that is the latest release done. You can also check for updates if you want to, but normally it's the latest version that you've downloaded. You can also use Let Me Pick from the list available if you are using the uh, wrong driver here and select the right one of your choice and then click next and let that install and you can go back either way to by definition audio driver or real tech driver depending on which one you favor now you can also go to your motherboard manufacturer's website now the problem with this method is if you're using an older motherboard or older hardware the motherboard manufacturers stop releasing updates for these and these can be outdated so updating it via this method might not be viable for you but for me uh, because this is quite a new uh, build, quite a new PC and hardware, I can go here and download the Realtek Audio HD driver from here. And this will basically give me the very latest version uh, for here. So you can see here, I can go ahead and install this. And this will be the latest version uh, from that motherboard manufacturer's website. So just bear that in mind if you are looking to install uh, the version of driver from the motherboard manufacturer's website because some of these might be outdated if it's old hardware. Okay, so let's just take a quick look here at the sound settings here. Inside here, you'll see options available to you for your speakers. You can go in here and change all of your audio. You've got your enhancement audio here as well. You can change also the bit rate as well, depending on whether your uh, sound card on your motherboard supports that. If you toggle this on here, you can then go into advanced and you'll be able to go inside here and add some extra features. So basically, if you wanted to add uh, an equalizer or you wanted to make changes to the other types of audio, you can do via this method here. So let me just quickly show you the loudness equalizer and also the equalizer here. This three little dots here will allow you to change it. You can also change it here to other uh, presets if you want to do that as well. And you can also go to the three dots. Let me just quickly show you the three dots as well. This will give you the graphic uh, user interface here for the equalizer. You can make changes here and you can push these little sliders up. So if you needed a bit more treble or you needed a bit more bass, you can go ahead and do that and set this to your liking. So let me quickly show you uh, what that looks like when we make changes to this here. So I'll quickly go back in there again and uh, just give it a quick test here. So let me go back into the enhanced audio here. Now, the good thing about this is it allows you to make a profile for your audio. So for instance, maybe it's a movie settings that you want to set it up as, and you can set it up for movie settings. And you can also go in here for game settings, or maybe if you're doing podcasting and stuff, and you want a bit more bass coming through and stuff, you can do that here and set it all up. You know, it's a bit primitive, but it's all right. It's not too bad, uh, but... You just have to set these up as profiles and you can auto switch uh, to each one of them depending on what you're actually doing on your computer. Now, this is the much better way of dealing with your audio and making changes to it. And that's using the Realtek audio console. It's a much better choice. And you can see here it's in a user interface that's a lot more easier to use. You've got sliders, you've got all your graphic interface here, but it makes it look much more better. You can make all changes right here. You even have access to the graphic equalizer here. And again, you can use the sliders to slide these up and down to your requirements. You've got a load of presets inside here. If that's your thing, you can make changes to your presets and you can make obviously profiles on here as well for all of your audio needs. So as you can see, pretty decent, uh, better way of dealing with your audio. And the way you can get all of this is by using the methods that I showed you. Got some other presets down the bottom here as well. And you also have your loudness equalizer, which you can toggle on and make changes to. And also your Hertz here, which is like your bit rate. You can make changes on that as well. Anyway, that's about it for this video. That's basically how you can download and update your Realtek Audio HD uh, drivers on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I do appreciate that support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. I've got a build video coming up real soon, so stay tuned for that one.
Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.